Hello and uh, welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video I will show you guys how to unlock and root your Galaxy Nexus 7 device uh, so that you may gain super user access to your device and make some system level modifications to it. Now for this whole project you will need your Nexus 7 and I have a Nexus 7 Wi-Fi tablet and it's running Jellybean 4.2.1 uh, you will also need a micro USB cable to connect your Nexus 7 to your computer and obviously you need your computer um, on your computer you will need to have the Nexus root toolkit and I will show you where to get it in a minute uh, this is an all-in-one package and, and it has everything you need to root and unlock your Nexus 7 and just so you know uh, you have to first unlock your Nexus 7 and then root it. That is the sequence you must follow. Uh, the very first step is to enable the developer options on your Nexus 7. Uh, you do that by going into settings. At the bottom you go to about tablet and then at the bottom you'll see a build number. You gotta tap that seven times. That unlocks the developer options. So you go back and now at the bottom right above about, about tablet you see developer options okay so after these options are exposed all you need to do is to enable USB debug okay and then you're done on this end and now I'm gonna switch over to my computer I'm gonna show you what steps you should take as of now you're not required to connect your Nexus 7 to your computer so I'll tell you when you need to connect your Nexus 7 to your computer okay so step number one let's let's go get the Nexus root toolkit so go to www.wugfresh.com slash nrt and just download the latest version of the toolkit it's at the bottom here where it says download and uh, download the latest version like I said and go ahead and install this on your computer okay so now I'm assuming you have installed your Nexus root toolkit and I want you to go ahead and attach your Nexus 7 to your computer with a micro USB cable now at this point um, when you launch Nexus root toolkit for the first time it's gonna ask you to upgrade to the latest version with all the latest files uh, just do that and then come right here and the first thing I want you to do is to click uh, the full driver installation guide automatic and manual and go step go to step three and I want you to guys to run a full driver test you will either get a success message or a failure message if you get a failure message you have to go to step one and follow these instructions verbatim don't skip anything so once again launch this go to step number three and do a driver test the drivers must be properly loaded for you to unlock your device and uh, if this is a success you're good to go if it's a failure go to step number one and follow instructions verbatim okay and then you go to step two after that you go to step three rerun the test and you're done in my case I already ran the test so I'm good to go now make sure your device is connected to your computer before you do any of these okay so exit this now the next step is to first unlock your device and then to root the device so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now okay so now after you do the driver installation and remember you must do the driver installation and you must get the success message uh, after that is, that's all done now you can actually unlock your device so just click unlock and so the process starts but before you click this OK just a disclaimer uh, make sure you back up your device at this point because everything will be wiped completely so just click OK and I'll just uh, show you the whole process so you can see what's happening on the screen and you can also see what's happening on the device 
it's rebooting you right now it's gonna do a couple tests in the process it's just gonna unlock your device you do have to do something in a minute I'm gonna show it to you there we go so <clears throat> on the screen it says you should now see a screen on your device titled unlock the boot bootloader uh, they want you to say yes so you use the volume buttons to choose yes or no and the power button to actually pick the option so I'm just gonna press power button right here now the unlocking process has started So let's just wait for this to boot up. Okay. <clears throat> so as soon as your Nexus device powers back up and you see the welcome screen, you know you're in the beginning, in the very beginning. The, the, the day you bought the device, this is the screen that you guys saw. So the, it is unlocked. It's completely wiped out and now you can go ahead and do the next step which means now you can actually root your device okay so I just set up my device I just chose a username connected to my network my Wi-Fi in my house and now I'm at the home screen of my newly unlocked device the next step obviously is to root the device all you have to do is click the root button and see what happens Okay, so there's a bunch of uh, messages here. It does say you need to be unlocked in order to root your device. So we're good to go on that. Uh, just click OK. Okay, <clears throat> so this is it's good that this one came up because we need to re-enable the USB debugging options. So go to settings. Go at the bottom. About tablet. Build number. Type this seven times. Tab it, I mean. Go back, developer options, USB debugging, click OK. Now you're good to go. And then go home. This is the same thing you did in the beginning. Because you unlocked your device, it was restored to its factory defaults, which disables developer options. So now, now they're re-enabled. So after that, that is done, just click OK again. Okay, device is connected. Rebooting the device. If you look over here, it actually says unlocked. Pretty nifty. Okay, so the process, I'm gonna let the process complete. This is just a wait and watch process, like I said. It's a beautiful tool. Everything is done in the background. You do have to do a couple things to prepare, but then once you click a couple buttons, you're done. And I just want you to see this whole thing so when you're routing, you know you're on the right, right path. Okay, so that is actually the rooting process. Look at the device. Okay, so let's wait for this process to happen. It's booting back up.
close that pop up right there. Okay, so it looks like the procedure is complete. Uh, this last window, I want you guys to read this because this, this gives you the steps to confirm that you have in fact rooted your device. Let's see if something... Okay, so let's click OK. Now the super user, uh, super SU app was pushed to your device from the computer, from the whole package, from the root kit toolkit. Um, I'm sorry, the root toolkit. And you press this. And if nothing happens, you're good to go. This means you're rooted. So now you have super user access, your device is unlocked, and you're rooted. That means you can go ahead and you can make some system level modifications to your device. You can install custom ROMs. So other people have, you know, variants of the Android Jelly Bean out there that perform faster, have extra options. You can now go ahead and install those to your device. Anyway, this process is complete. We, 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 we did what we were supposed to do. You're unlocked and you're rooted. So now, if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. There's more to come. And um, if you like the video, just click the like button. I appreciate that. Gives me a, give me a thumbs up. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Have a good day, guys.